What's up, guys? Pastor Andy with you. Pastor Reacts. You know, I was a little low energy, I'll be honest with you, but we're back now. I took a vacation out to the Smoky Mountains. If you check out our other channel, which I'll link to, there's some videos coming out that I think you'll enjoy. But uh, here's uh, Papa Roach with their new one. Music video came out. So I'm going to scrub through on the screen here because if I, if I run it, it creates issues. Oh, where's our volume, guys? What did I do here? There we go. This one just came out. I don't know how many people have seen it yet. <laughs> I'm loving what's this up? already. I'll tell you what's up. We got a show in 10 minutes. Where are you at? <laughs> it's like me and Big Cat. What's up? He's all freaking out. I was screwed out. up. I was angry at the world. I feel like I was a loser. Love it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh man that is that's great i love it i love it i love it so much wow okay what do i love about it one is you know this is like this is like a over it's just like such a 
a big theme in, I think, a lot of people's lives is if I could go back to the time where it wasn't so overwhelming, take me back there. And they, they managed to do it in four minutes in this song. You know, this is like the heart of Big Cat Den. They just, they just nailed it right here. Take me back to a time where things weren't so complex and overwhelming. And for, I'm thinking for them, it was when they were doing their bike rides. For me, I just got back from the Smoky Mountains and being in the mountains and just hiking. Like I was literally running down the trails just like a little kid. Oh man, the world needs this so bad. The world has taken itself so seriously. It's like everybody's ratcheted up to like a 10 plus, plus, plus all the time. It's like we're at war just getting through our regular day. Just It's like a constant war with the way corporate America is. Pressure, deadlines, statistics, sales, you know, and it's like, oh, man. But nobody likes it. Even the people that are making money are stressed to the max. And... It's not okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work for the human race <laughs> to be at that level of stress all the time. And so what happens is people just do the extreme and they just they just pull the plug on everything and they just check out. And my thing is like find a balance between being productive, between being um, efficient in what you're doing, being diligent, being responsible, but also taking time to rest and reflect on what life is really all about. The whole models in the old in the Old Testament, the Bible, it's like work six days, take a full day off, and then take these. Fe- they did these festivals, which were like totally unplug from your daily duties. This is why this is why Islam, I believe Islam is um, one of the reasons it's getting so well, it's, you know, converting people so quickly is because it gives people a structure to their lives that makes life manageable. Think about it. You know, the pilgrimage to Mecca and in the different rituals that are involved, it forces you to unplug. And that is human beings need to unplug because it's like <clears throat> If you're just looking in a linear direction all the time, putting one foot in front of the other, and you never, you're like a drone, take an aerial view of your life. That's what unplugging enables you to do. Take an aerial view of your life and then take you down. And the dreams, the dreams tell you what are the biggest psychological stressors in your life. His is, you know, missing the concert. Mine is... I didn't prepare a sermon <laughs> or I'm in my underwear, you know, preaching a message. You see how that works? I love it. This is great. Great song, great video, fun, exactly what the world needs right now from my perspective in music. Um, nice riffs. The guitar is awesome. I like the different styles. If I'm going to be hypercritical, you know, the... The manipulation of the voice about two minutes in is is not my favorite style. I understand, uh, you know, it's a change of pace in the music. This song reminds me of some of the Beatles' um, earlier, or, I'm sorry, later stuff, uh, where they're they're take they're doing different time signatures or like some Pink Floyd stuff where they're doing um, some different things in the bot in the body of the song, if you will, um, to kind of force you to pay attention and force you to understand the complexities that are going on and I think it really works well with the dream sequence because dreams are kind of jaded you know they're kind of uh, disjointed like that and I think the music works well with that a plus plus my highest rating love it Um, big cat den big cat wasn't able to join us but I appreciate big cat uh, sending us this video because totally made my day. I'm going to be in Traverse City uh, this weekend, Traverse City, Michigan. Beautiful, gorgeous spot. So just getting some opportunities. This is uh, 
if you guys would pray for the Michigan uh, Annual uh, Conference of the United Methodist Church. If you're a United Methodist, you know how polarized the denomination is right now. It's really difficult times in the United States. There's about six million people that are Methodist, and it's really difficult right now because there's we're just not seeing eye to eye on a really. Um, it's a you know it's a it's an important issue, but it's not a salvation issue, and um, so it's one of those things where it's like it's probably getting to the point where it's it's better to just say, you know, let's do ministry together, but not as a unified denomination anymore. And um, that's very painful. So that looks like where it's headed uh, from my perspective. We'll see you guys real soon. And uh, find a place to just uh, unplug, even if it's just for 10, 15 minutes. Because your body just stores all of those things. And, and actually in the cells of your body, that tension gets stored up. And that's honestly... That's honestly what will kill you. I mean, early. It'll kill you one way or another, whether it's through a drunk driving accident or through a heart attack from stress or a stroke out from stress or somebody getting in a bar fight because of stress. That's what's going to kill you, more than likely. Or developing an addiction. Not being able to unplug and taking life too seriously. you gotta, you got to find a way. you got to find a balance. And uh, stay tuned. We'll try to help you do that here on Big Cat Den. You guys help me do that, too. So keep the requests coming. We'll see you real soon.